Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about stick diagrams. So before going to stick diagram, can you click that subscribe button so that we can get connected and I will answer all your doubts as early as possible in comment section. So let's go to stick diagram without any further delay. So stick diagrams are nothing but a, a simple diagrams which are used to represent the circuits. So here you got the definition of the stick diagram. Stick diagrams are means of capturing the topography and layer information using simple diagrams. So we have a complex circuit. To, we cannot draw circuits every time, you know. You cannot draw circuits every time. Uh, a stick diagram with the simple diagrams makes it easy for us to better understand and it's a visual representation. So here is the flow of stick diagram. So first we will write the equation. So then after, the equation should be always in a complementary form. So if you have an equation, it should be in a bar. Means it should be in a complementary form. Because static CMOS gives us the output complementary. So the equation should be also in a complementary form. So then after we will draw the static CMOS diagram. Uh, from static CMOS diagram, we will easily, we will be able to draw stick diagram easily. So as you know that, in CMOS we have two things pull up network pull up network and pull down network so P NMOS is pull down and PMOS is pull up network so NMOS should be parallel when the equation consists of plus and NMOS should be in series when it's a product similarly it's opposite of P NMOS is opposite of PMOS PMOS is opposite of NMOS so product is parallel in PMOS and plus is in series so I'm gonna uh, take an example draw the stick diagram please follow on so I'm gonna take this example y equals to a plus b whole bar and draw first I'm gonna draw the CMOS circuit as you know uh, the CMOS circuit consists of uh, first NMOS I'm gonna draw NMOS and that's the quite opposite for PMOS okay let's draw NMOS so NMOS plus means parallel so draw two circuits of NMOS parallel to each other so these are parallel as you know we have ground this is ground and then we need to draw opposite this is NMOS okay NMOS is done so we need to draw PMOS PMOS is quite opposite since so it's parallel it will be in series we have a bubble not gate over here don't forget that one so this is PMOS circuit And this is VDD this is pull up network it will be always pulling up the network to high this will be pulling always down so these are A and B this is A and B the output will be A plus B whole bar so before going to stick diagram I want you to know that it would be simple for you if you write source and ground for this transistors so this will be gate this will be gate so whatever the extensions will be gate don't forget that source so here coming from top to bottom so the sources will be source and drain of this one source and drain okay now here in NMOS source is downwards so this one will be source this one will be source and drain and drain I hope you have understood how to draw this diagram this diagram if you can draw that's almost done you know it's almost done now let's go to stick diagram so first thing we need to draw VDD and ground okay let's draw VDD and ground I'm taking a blue color okay take blue color for VDD and ground there you go you got VDD and ground and next things is you need to get 
PMOS, P diffusion layer and N diffusion layer. So for P diffusion layer, I am taking yellow color. This is P diffusion layer for PMOS and for N diffusion layer, I am taking green color. Okay, now we have got P diffusion and N diffusion, but we need transistors. So we need to have a polysilicon layer. So for polysilicon layers, we need to look at the terms. How many polysilicons we need to draw? For example, we have two terms over here, two variables A and B. So we need to draw two polysilicon diffusion layers. So you got one that is for A and another that is for B. Okay. This is for A and this is for B. Okay. Now, since we got transistors, we got four transistors as you can see over here. You got four transistors. This is for PMOS, A, PMOS, B, NMOS, A and NMOS, B. You got four transistors. Now we need to connect the source and drain of the transistors. So for this, I'm going to use a black color pen for connections. Uh, first, we need to write source and drains. So first, uh, make sure that these are connected. So as you can see over here, drain and source are of A and B are connected. So this can be drain and this can be source. Okay. And now source is over here which is connected to VDD. So let's make a connection and don't forget to press a cross mark that indicates that it's connected, okay? So we got drain and source over here. Now let's go to NMOS. So both the sources are connected to a single ground. So let's make this as source of A and this is of source B, okay? Both the sources are connected to ground both the sources are connected to ground okay now we have drains so now the drain is connected to the output so here the drain is connected to output so that both the drains are connected to the output so this is output Y which we require but don't forget that B drain is also connected to output. So this is the drain. So we need to make connection for this one too. Don't forget to make the contact. Okay. So this is the stick diagram of Y equals to A plus B whole bar. All you need to know importance is that first you need to draw the circuit diagram correctly in CMOS form. If you draw, if you are not able to draw CMOS correctly, you can't go to stick diagram because and don't forget to put this S the source and drain, which will be a lot easier for you to draw in stick diagram. So for your clear understanding, I'm going to take one more example uh, and show you how it's done for another example. So in this example, I'm going to take the equation as y equals to a dot B whole bar so so let's draw the circuit diagram this is most important first learn how to draw circuit diagram A dot B whole bar A dot B whole bar it means it's series in NMOS that means we got in series okay this is A and this is B connected to ground okay we are done with NMOS. Now we need to go with PMOS. In PMOS, it's parallel. So let's draw two parallel circuits. Don't forget the bubble. And this is VDD. Now we need to give this to the output. A and B so here you got the circuit diagram after getting the circuit diagram don't don't forget to mention the gate source and drain of the transistors because it will be helpful 
so this is the gate since the source is here don't forget these are the source source and this is drain and this is drain and here similarly this is source this is drain source and drain okay now let's draw the circuit diagram so I'm going to use the same colors okay use blue color for BDD and also for the ground I'm using blue color or ground or VSS okay now for we have to draw poly diffusion and P diffusion P diff fusion and end of fusion here you go we are done with diffusions now after diffusion we need to draw polysilicons for the transistors number of variables that many lines since here you got two lines so draw two well, one is for A and another is for B so you got this two one now uh, place the source and drain that will be better for you so let's check it so two sources are connected so two sources I will place it at outside and drains and drains are connected to the output so this will be outside for Y okay and the sources are connected to the top that is VDD now we got done with the PMOS now with for the NMOS see the output is coming from the drain of A so this is A I'll keep the drain over here because it's not connected so S and D are connected so that it's it's connected and the source is connected to the ground and now we need to take it to Y so I hope you understood how to draw the stick diagrams and in future I'll be explaining a little more complex equations so that you will be benefited by it so if you like this uh, stick diagram concept and if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel and it will help me a lot to produce more such important topics for you and thanks for watching till end hope you like this video let's stay connected please click that subscribe button and I will answer your doubts in comments if you have any doubts and it will be very soon I will answer as fast as possible you know if you give the comment today I will answer within 24 hours and that will be a benefit for you thanks for watching